Kate Miller Fulcher, welcome to Tony Creates on a dark and gloomy afternoon. Um, this is our stitching embroidery cover that we're doing and um, this is the project box I put it in. It's a 12 by 12 box. So and I am using up scraps of um, here's my design I'll just put that to one side from old projects so I'm just using what I have so I thought I'd just jump on you quickly and let you guys see how what I've done so far so I took all the lacy bits off because they were getting in my way and I was pricking myself with the pins all the time but I do have the picture so I can come back later and stick it on like I want so let me show you quickly what I have done so this is this is the right side up okay so I've done French knots there and there and just just a hand over stitch don't know what it's called done little crosses I don't know if you can see little crosses here which I love and just down there and then here I did like a like a whip stitch with two different colors you can't really see let me see if I bring a bit of extra light I don't think it's gonna make any difference no um, so I just did like like that little stitch like that and then came with a different color and just went around it so I just wanted to show you a couple of things that I learned along the way of doing this especially because it's stuck on that's the back side stuck on um, this paper so it makes it really difficult to pass pass your um, your thread through so I just wanted to give you a quick show so I'm gonna do I uh, saw a lace stitch which I kind of liked but I don't know maybe if I try the greens I'm gonna try the greens now for my French knots I just did it with three strands um, this one I think I did with six strands so six, six strands is a complete thing so first of all just want to show you this is called lace stitch this is a pen that I have had for over 30 years please Lord let it work and I just realized it's really <laughs> you can see my line now it doesn't matter because this is like a junk journal so the scrappy the better but I mean it would have been nice if that was straight but anywho it's not so now this stitch I do want it to be straight so I'm just gonna come now this is a this is a um, water erasable marker that people use for sewing I, I wasn't been I've been a sewer long before I was a paper crafter so I can just go like this and put my dots down and more or less I don't know if I'm putting them too far apart come and um, put them where I can see them because when you're sewing you kind of uh, go with the least resistance so I'm not going to do this is not very exciting okay and I might have to do a few of them over again so let me show you so uh, I don't know if I told you in the first video or not but I went to charity shop last week I had to take my car to get uh, its national uh, national car test or something like that I don't know what it's called so I went and um, went to the local town there and they have a fabulous charity shop there and it's they had a whole stack of I think it was obviously some subscription of little embroidery samples and they've had needles in and everything right this is the first trick I learned to get your first dot exactly where you want it come from this side and then when you go there there's your your whole 
and then you can because because we're going through several thicknesses it can be difficult to to get your your stitch in and like I say this is not my favorite it's much easier okay I think we are going to have to reduce our thickness of our thread um, that this is a more woven thing and this is cotton so that's probably why we are struggling a bit okay so I will just work around this but I just wanted to show you using the pen and using the coming from the back side can can help you okay this one's going straight this way I think I'm going to get a pointier needle this is not fun when it goes like this then we try and do this I was using I don't know if this will work this might work better because it's it's a thicker needle uh, that one this one it's a little bit thicker so it might help when it passes through let's just get this out here make sure we're lying flat there if I can get this going and guys to, to not lose your needle just take your packet and do that and then your needle is now not just a shiny piece of metal floating around on your desk right anyway we had a good couple of days away of course it rained every day except the day we were leaving but anyway, got soaked, did tons of walking, um, didn't rain on the, come on, on the day that we went to, we didn't go into the castle because you have to pay for that, uh, but we just walked around the garden, so, so that was lovely, it's got some stunning, stunning gardens, and I'm going to come, so now I'm just going through this side, okay so now I have a hole and I can go through like that okay yeah so I'm gonna come back up this side so I'm just gonna stick this in here and go like that so that was great um, oh my goodness I found some old documents guys uh, but I need to clear off my desk before I can show you I got this 1851 lease agreement and I think my stitches are too far apart anyway this is too far apart ah, and I found the home we just go like that see get this off and go like that and just need to take out this side uh, yeah so that was great fun uh, what else did we oh oh so I was telling you about this just getting my finger wet I don't suppose you want me gob and I'll just go like this you see how it disappears So that'll disappear and now it's all wet I probably can't mark on it but what I will do is let me just use this pin so I can just pin it and then I'll just show you this maybe I can come back up on I don't know which one I'm going up yeah so it would be much easier to do this if it wasn't stuck on the on the actual envelope if I wasn't on the envelope I could because uh, it's this this page I could have just um, 
how can I say just be going through layers of cloth and not layers of Let me make sure I didn't. So anyway, I enjoyed doing this. I I just did this while I was um, next to the watching the telly. So that's great. The food was fabulous that we had away. And guys, I had the most. Oopsie. Num. You see why I need a thing? Where's a ruler? Now, I don't know if this is going to work because you see how skew I am. I'm just going to go like this and I'm going to take my quarter mark and go like that. I hope this doesn't fade out because it's going on. Just do a few. Turn it round and because the first one's slanted, we can go on the quarter marks. Uh, those are fading <laughs> okay so I'll do this when it's dry but I just wanted to show you let me just show you the first stitch which way am I up I'm up here so I'm coming up here let me just get this down get my finger in there and go like that So, uh, what are what other news? And of course, when we came back, not a drop of rain. Did not see a drop of rain the whole drive back. But I must say, we took the country roads. We didn't go on the on the motorway. Oh, it's beautiful countryside. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, there's somebody's home. Somebody's home. So I'm gonna have to say just want to do this stitch so I can pull it pull it so now you have to do you have to do the whole the whole row okay in increments of three oh, papers a bit wet so I'm just gonna go up the next one just so that we can have the other stitches secure see how much easier it is when you when you make your hole in the back you can see exactly where to come up okay so that was working so now I want another color that's why I've got two things and I think I'm going to use this white because I have a lot of it and you don't really see it anyway it's just to to kind of secure and then I can also show you how to um, well, yeah, actually I'm not going to divide although this one looks like it's got some threads missing so I think I'll just use that one so um, yeah so and then I'm just ju I'm just doing a, a knot in the back because normally I wouldn't but I mean this is going to be covered up can I see see we I can't even see which side is the whole this side so just uh, yeah I, I just I'm just put a I just roll it between my fingers and then pull it down and there's a knot so you come in the middle in fact let me just do my hole there so I know where it is if I can see it so you come up like this let me stand up so I'm a bit, a bit closer and come on through and you go through there okay come back around this side okay and then you go right down there want to get this needle through first come on oh okay pliers time people I've got my jewelry pliers here there we go <laughs> okay and then 
when you've gone like that you just go like that and you pull them and then you see I need to make these stitches a bit closer it's supposed to look like a lace but it doesn't the stitch is too short but you know what I'm gonna leave it just like that because this is handmade by an amateur and why should it all be neat so but I know for the next stitches I'll be making them a little bit closer and maybe a little bit longer I'm just going to secure that with a knot and then I can carry on do the next one so it's going to be lace anyway folks have a great weekend and I'll see you on Monday cheerio now